Hey guys, welcome to question FM370 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. This question reads, for a particular museum, management has put in place a rule that says there must be at least one dinosaur exhibition for every five space exhibitions. Let X be the number of dinosaur exhibitions, let Y be the number of space exhi exhibitions. The inequality for this constraint is, and we're given these five options. So, what we're going to do is create two conditions um, for this question, one that satisfies uh, the inequality and one that shouldn't or does not satisfy the inequality. So since there must be at least one dinosaur exhibition for every five space exhibitions, the one that satisfies we're going to pick is one dinosaur for five space. So that condition just satisfies the inequality, um, or it should. And one that doesn't is going to be having zero dinosaur exhibitions for five space exhibitions. So we're expecting that when we insert these conditions into our inequality, it comes back satisfying it. And when we insert these conditions into our inequality, it shouldn't satisfy it. So question A, uh, we're going to start off by inserting our values here. So we should get that five is less than or equal to 1 plus 5, which means that 5 is less than or equal to 6. That satisfies that equality, so looking good so far. We're going to do another one where we have 5 is less than or equal to 0 plus 5 for our shouldn't satisfy inequality. And we get 5 is less than or equal to 5, which also satisfies the, equality, the inequality when it shouldn't. So A isn't our correct answer. Moving on to option B, inserting our 1 and 5, we get that 5 is greater than or equal to 1 plus 5, which means that 5 is greater than or equal to 6, uh, which this does not satisfy the conditions. Um, sorry, these conditions don't satisfy this inequality uh, when they should. So B is also not our correct answer. Option C, y is less than or equal to x over 5. Inserting the conditions that should satisfy this inequality, we get 5 is less than or equal to 1 on 5, uh, which we know this, that uh, 5 is not less than or equal to 1 on 5, so this isn't true, and C is not our correct answer, because the 1 and the 5 should satisfy inequality. Option D, 5 is greater than or equal to 5 times 1. So 5 is greater than or equal to 5. Yep, that's good there. Uh, and inserting the conditions that shouldn't satisfy, we get that 5 is greater than or equal to 5 times 0. So 5 is greater than or equal to 0, which it is also. So once again, this should not satisfy the inequality. So we, uh, D is not our correct answer. Now, so that this leaves E, but of course we're going to check it anyway. 5 is less than or equal to 5 times 1, which means 5 is less than or equal to 5. Yep, that satisfies our inequality. Putting the conditions that shouldn't satisfy in. 5 is less than or equal to 5 times 0. So 5 is less than or equal to 0. That does not satisfy that inequality, which means that E is our correct answer. If you guys have any questions about this question, please drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.